The focus of the retail investor in debt mutual funds has really now shifted to the credit quality of the bonds in those portfolios. And this is measured using the credit rating. So credit rating is nothing. It's just a score which evaluates the quality of the company and judges them in respect of their ability to repay the money on time. So today, let's take a look at what credit ratings of bonds are and how you can understand them correctly. Every AMC will issue monthly fact sheets and portfolio statements for every single scheme. Among many other important things, this statement lists out the credit quality of the underlying bonds in the portfolio. One can find the name of the issuer, the rating assigned by a rating agency, and the exposure by the debt fund. Primarily, there are two types of ratings, one for long-term instruments and one for short-term instruments. Within long term, the highest notch is AAA, which means it has the least chance of default. Do note that this does not mean cannot default. It just means it has the lowest probability. The investment grade ratings continue downwards all the way to BBB plus or minus. The investment grade set of bonds are said to have a high degree of safety. But even within this bracket, Bonds with ratings below AA are considered too risky for retail investors. And there are bonds which are considered below investment grade or junk grade, which are considered to be very likely candidates to default. This list starts from BB plus or minus and ends at D, which means a default has taken place. So long term essentially means that the bond will have a tenure or a maturity which is longer than one year. And conversely, short term will mean bonds which have a maturity or a tenure of less than one year. So if you've ever been confused seeing HDFC AAA and HDFC A1 plus ratings in the same portfolio, now you'll know why. One is for their long term paper and one is for their short term paper. The highest rating for short-term instruments is A1+. This is the equivalent of the AAA rating for long-term bonds. It carries the least chance of default. From here, the investment grade list goes all the way down to A3. And then comes the junk grade which begins at A4+, the equivalent of BB in long-term ratings and the list ends at D which means the company has defaulted. Well, credit ratings are not stationary, right? So it's important to know that credit ratings can change during the course of a company's life, right? And if you see that the credit rating is constantly moving lower, depending on the exposure that you as an investor might have to those bonds, you may consider course correction as well. 